Welcome back to a full day of eating. Maintenance calories around 1850 calories, super high protein, anabolic style. Happy Thursday to me. Happy Monday to you guys when you are watching. We just crushed upper body day number two. My arms feel like jello, but that's the point. We felt so strong today. Like that is the goal is to just progressively overload as much as we can. Feel strong, freaking kick ass and take names. I'm here for it. I wanna update you guys as far as reversing. So my last video, if you did not catch it, it's all about reverse dieting. What is a reverse diet? So if you missed that one, it's a definite must watch for you to like get up to speed on what to reverse dieting is. A lot of y'all have had questions and sending me DMs, so definitely go and give it a watch. But we are back to our maintenance calories. And this is not really my true maintenance calories. I have lowered them a little bit because I know, I mean, y'all, it's the holiday season. October is my favorite time of year. Halloween, I'm a spooky bee through and through, <laughs> is my favorite time of year. Most of you guys know if you follow me on Instagram because I post all the extra behind the scenes there and on TikTok. And I am just here for the enjoyment, but not like going overboard like I feel like we did this summer. So usually one day per week, a Saturday or Friday, I'm gonna partake in all the festivities, all the things. So this weekend we have a hocus pocus party at my sister's house because of my dental surgery, which by the way, that all went amazing. Tomorrow I have a checkup. They were able to put the socket rod thing in. So we are rolling and good to go. Thank you, Jesus. Go for all the prayers and like really warm wishes and like checking in on me over on Instagram. Y'all are the absolute best. I freaking love you guys. But we have that party to go to Saturday and I'm she's making like homemade shrimp fettuccine like your girl is eating your girl is eating and i am enjoying some twixted treat nut butter because i've been wanting it but i will say one tip i want to give you guys and i know a lot of you aren't in this stage in your journey but it's just something to think about i have been incorporating some like candy like a, a miniature Reese pumpkin like you know they're like microscopic i've been incorporating that some fun little treats throughout the week which i wasn't doing before over the summer and then when the weekend came i wanted to go like balls to the wall and like eat all the things because i had been depriving myself all week and all i could think about was the weekend and oh i could go all in on my nut butter i could go all in on some m m's and then it just kind of spiraled and got out of control and if you incorporate those things throughout the week little by little track it incorporate it in your macros you're not going to feel like you're deprived when the weekend comes and the bowl of M&Ms is sitting out there because you've had M&Ms all week. You're not going to like dive in and be like, oh my gosh, I have to have these. I haven't had them in years. You've had them all week, girl. So when you see the M&Ms, you're like, damn, I can have them all the time. So it's not a need to like dive in. And let me tell you, because a lot of people have come for me for this, I have been losing weight or staying at maintenance while eating all the things because I'm tracking it. All you have to do, guys, is be in a caloric deficit to lose weight be at maintenance calories to stay the same weight you want to be in doesn't matter what you put in your mouth now yes I do keep everything as high protein I meet my protein goals every single day 165 grams of protein or more is what we are striving for each and every day so if I have any extra calories and I've hit my protein goal I will allot myself a fun size 80 calorie bag of freaking M&Ms I'm not eating a whole damn bag of M&Ms it's an 80 calorie fun size there are like five M&Ms in there I'm getting my fix I'm getting my satisfaction without going overboard yeah are M&Ms healthy absolutely not am I telling you to eat M&Ms every single day because they're healthy you didn't hear me say that but as far as a healthy mindset and a balanced mindset I feel like if you incorporate these things each and every day or every other day throughout your week tracking them while in your deficit while at maintenance you're not going to have the unhealthy binge thoughts the unhealthy actions of eating the whole bag of M&Ms when the weekend comes, when the party comes, whatever the case. Does this make sense? I just want to throw this out here because I know I'm not the only one on this planet that struggles with the things as far as events, occasions, 
everything staring at you at the damn grocery store, holidays. This is the season where everybody gains usually like an extra 15, 20 pounds because they just say, F it, I'm going to enjoy myself and I'll get back to it on January 1st. January 1st comes, you don't get back to it. You keep saying F it and you keep going down the rabbit hole and it's just a vicious, vicious cycle. So if you allow yourself these things throughout the week, track it, work out, stay towards your goals, you're going to see progress without you feeling like you need to go balls to the wall. I just want to throw this out here. A lot of questions and a lot of people coming for me for seeing me eat certain things, but the majority of my day, guys, you're seeing me make good choices, high protein choices, seeing me eat veggies, seeing me eat fruit, all those things. But at the end of the night, if I want a bag of freaking fun size M&Ms, your girl's having it. Okay. As far as maintenance, guys, we have stayed the same weight. We have fluctuated between 152 to 154. I've really stayed like 152, 153 the majority of the time. I went up on the scale today was like 154, but yesterday was a rest day. And I usually find that after my rest days, the scale does go up a little bit for me because I am not exercising. I'm getting my step goal. But if you're eating like carbs, and things you're going to hold in water you know when you're not like doing any cardio and stuff and working it off so I don't mind that and then like I said if you weigh every single day it's an average of what your weigh-ins are is you know your maintenance or if you know, you're losing weight gaining weight all the things so you can't like get all hung up on one freaking weigh-in that's why it's important to keep checking in frequently so you can see the trends on the scale and you don't get upset when a number pops up on the scale. Maintenance is going good. It's going good. I'm enjoying the things. I'm loving what I'm seeing as far as physicals and my body. I feel like we are getting stronger. I'm feeling much better since being in a calorie deficit. I'm not feeling like totally wiped and totally drained each and every day or through my sets. Through my sets, guys, I was feeling like freaking wiped by the end. It's still hard. It's always hard. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not feeling like I'm going to pass out on the gym floor, which is a good thing. So I have a lot of running to do, not going to lie, and I have been the worst this week. I'm starving right now. It's 11 o'clock, and I forgot my freaking snack, my post-workout snack, but we're going into Walmart and Rouse's. I'm going to try to pick something up to tide me over because I'm probably going to be another hour running around picking up all the things before we can get home and eat lunch. This morning, I failed to mention we had the protein pumpkin muffins. That was in yesterday's meal prep video. So I, y'all have been wearing me out on Instagram about the freaking protein muffins. I'm like, damn, y'all have never asked for a recipe as much as these protein muffins. I hope it lives up to the expectations. I love them with the American Dream Nut Butter. It's like one of my favorite things and they're so easy to make. Check out that video. Let me know if you've made them and what you think about them because they are one that I will rotate all the freaking time. Struggles are real. 1.30 and we are just eating lunch. I got a tuna pouch ding air fryer uh, at Rouse's. That was not what I wanted, but we did it. It was 80 calories and like 16 grams of protein. Oh my gosh. So running around with all these stores is ridiculous two hours because everything's so far apart traffic time Ugh, first world problems I, like i keep saying i need to just be quiet we've got a bacon cheeseburger wrap i have this on my channel i will link the recipe video in the description box for you guys it is so freaking good so just the wrap by itself is 325 calories and 32 grams of protein love it so much instead of using the wellness tortillas that i featured in the video i'm using the banderita carb counter i think it's like five calories less but i just like the way these taste and i have a bunch on hand from sam so that's what we're rolling with we've got a serving of my favorite carrot chips and then my favorite and so many of y'all have messaged me and are like girl this honey jalapeno hummus where has it been all my life if you have not tried it i'm telling you you're in for a treat it is spicy so if you don't like spicy things don't pick it up but I love it, Walmart. Everything you see here for lunch, I gotta wolf this down. 415 calories, 35 grams of protein, 34 total carbs, 21 grams of fat. Totally needed to refuel, and I didn't mention that Big Mac sauce that's on these wraps. That's what makes it, it's so delicious. So it's 4.20 later than I normally eat my snack, but our lunch was late, and I did switch up my snack. I was gonna do like my buffalo tuna on rice cakes with the laughing cow little thing I do all the time. Love that. But I said, you know what? We have not done a pumpkin spice like milkshake. I've been doing the healthier milkshake with the butterfinger on top and stuff 
for dessert and it's like my favorite right now but i was like let's do a pumpkin pie version without like any toppings and still keep it low calorie high protein well, at night i usually do 33 grams of protein powder i'm just going to do 30 grams i do a cup of cashew milk and then i blend that in my ninja bullet i do add ice to it probably to the top blend it really well and add any fun toppings today we're going to add some of the pumpkin spice whip topping from target you saw me use this morning in my coffee love it and just some pumpkin pie spice and be done with it and that should be 157 calories 24 grams of protein five total carbs and four grams of fat well let's whip her up this is what it looks like before i blend it up with the ice i did add some pumpkin pie spice seasoning in the actual shake and i'm gonna put some on top too i like to be extra with my seasoning here is how she looks I'll update you guys on how it tastes, but I love this protein powder with cashew milk without ice. Just pour it on top of my coffee with this whipped cream, so this should be a treat. 6-11, it is dinner time. The pumpkin pie milkshake was a success. I definitely recommend something super easy, low calorie, high protein. Dinner tonight is leftovers, and I'm going to link this in the description box. This is one that the hubby raved about. I think all the dinners this week have been like repeat offenders. <laughs> all Pinterest, can you believe it? Like, so you know I love Elise's recipes, but sometimes I got to go down that Pinterest rabbit hole and try out some things we've been having on our wish list to try, and this was one of them. Everything I made this week, with the exception of Taco Tuesday, was in the slow cooker as well. This is a slow cooker recipe. Crock pot brown sugar balsamic pork loin. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So just the pork itself, and that is a portion, is 390 calories, 57 whopping grams of protein, 19 total carbs, and 19, 9 grams of fat. We're using the Bob Evans mashed potatoes. I ran out of the ones from Sam's Club, and I didn't feel like getting them from Sam's. I didn't need a big old thing. This was actually a, a pretty big thing for the price, too. So these are comparable. If you don't have a Sam's, I get this question all the time about the mashed potatoes. Those are 120 or 130 calories. This is 150, but that's a serving for 150. I mean, substantial here for it. And then we've got some peas on the side, the no salt added organic ones is 50 calories for that big old portion right there so everything you see on my plate tonight is 590 calories 63 grams of protein 51 total carbs and 16 grams of fat I'm telling you guys you need to try this pork recipe it's definitely going to be on repeat it's easy and hands down so freaking delicious about a quarter to eight never skip dessert i told you i told y'all i was having the damn m&ms and we are doing it but i'm trying something new y'all have been screaming for me to try the duncan pumpkin spy graham goldfish i had to order them off of target online because they didn't have them in store i got two bags of them and that is a serving i did weigh it up it says like 52 pieces or 30 grams as 140 calories i don't know if that's 52 pieces but we weighed it out it's exactly 30 grams and i've got my fun size m m caramel packet which is only a few in there it is 80 calories so our indulgent fun snack is 220 calories two grams of protein 33 total carbs and eight grams of fat. I'll update you on these. 10 out of 10 on the Duncan Goldfish. I don't know if they're pumpkin spice, but they're like graham crackery goodness. I don't know, I'm a big fan. I already changed out what I'm doing tomorrow for dessert and put these in there. You get a big portion for the calories, I must say. Like it took me a little bit to eat them because I didn't eat them by the handful. I just ate one at a time. Super satisfying recommend i've got to do better with getting my bootay in the bed and asleep at a decent time we hit almost 12,000 steps today macros 1846 i told you guys it'd be around 1850 171 on the protein 166 this is total carbs guys in reference for people that come for me for certain things 100 net carbs is considered low carb we did 166 total carbs Mind your business. 58 grams of fat. I'm, I'm just joking, but you know what I mean. For the, for the ones that need the little kick in the booty. Happy Friday. So next day, we just crushed a leg day, changed. I'm in the parking lot of the oral surgeon. Gonna get this tooth checked on. I will say, like, the stitches have already dissolved. It looks like perfection. It's way better than when I got the tooth extracted. I must say, I know a lot of you guys are going through the same thing. You've messaged me with like getting implants done. It's a long process. Like I think we have to wait another six months before we can even get fitted for the crown to get screwed on. 
it's we've been a hole in our mouth for what seems like a decade it has been over a decade we crushed today's leg day session felt super freaking strong went up in things and just did as much as we could i was in a time crunch we did 20 minutes of cardio which by the way i failed to mention in this entire video what is my life today we have a challenge that's starting that i posted all over the place i should have posted it in the community tabs to make sure notifications are clicked so you get the extra little bell notifications for things besides videos but we have the creepy cardio challenge which is challenging you guys to move your body doesn't matter what form of cardio for two times per week and listening to the creepy like spooky Halloween playlist that I made which is 29 minutes so 30 minutes of cardio twice a week that can be walking whatever you have placed for yourself it doesn't matter I know a lot of you guys have had all kinds of ideas and that's great it's just moving your body twice a week you can do more that is welcome I have a little check off calendar all the things so please join us and move our body for the rest of spooky season here for it also we weighed in this morning I will pop up the weight right here and also I'm going to pop up my like tracking my weight and show you that I've been this weight since I have been at this like 1850 calories and I've told you guys that the calculators are not always 100% spot on so for and that is with 155 pounds I've been ranging like 152 153 which I technically towards the calculator I should get way more food but my body and your metabolism is different a computer can't like gauge your age like all the things that apply to what's going on with your body so with what I'm doing for my strength training Monday through Friday and having my off day on Saturdays doing all the fun events. This is working out for me to maintain my weight until we want to go into a slight surplus and start strength training for strength versus like muscle and all those things before we go into a cut. So you have to do what's best for your body, guys. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Don't compare your physique. Don't compare your food, your workouts. All the things are catered to the individual. It is so freaking crazy crazy. So don't look at somebody. Don't look at me and say, man, I wish I could eat as much as her. You might be able to eat way more than me and do the same activity. It's just nuts. So don't, don't compare yourself. It's not a good vibe. And I'm telling you, you will only cause yourself a disservice by doing that. But thank y'all so much for watching today's full day of eating while we're maintaining, building muscle, enjoying all the things. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much, guys. And I appreciate appreciate when you take the time to do so. If you are new, I'd love to have you. So many newbies. I'm so happy to have you here. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, all the notifications so you don't miss anything. Let's get amped. Let's get pumped for this cardio challenge. Y'all know I'm not really a big advocate about cardio if you're going crazy. You shouldn't be going cardio crazy, but like twice a week, 20 to 30 minutes while you're strength training is going to be sufficient for your heart health, guys. You need to make sure that you are strength training for Progressively overloading. Yes, cardio is great for our heart, but you don't need to just be doing cardio seven days a week for two hours a day and not doing any strength training. We've got to have balance with all the things. I hope you have an awesome day. Have a kick-ass Monday. Let's kill this freaking cardio challenge, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.